Good morning, ducks. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Duck Adventure for, I think it's the 28th. Dougie's having a little breakfast snack here. I had to, uh, no, it's the 29th, guys. I had to uh, coax him down the stairs. I went upstairs with the plate and actually uh, <laughs> uh, put it in front of his nose on the bed and then walked away with it. That was the only way I could get him to get up. Yes, but he's a little bit of an egg snack. He's, uh, oh, make a mess. Look at this, dog. Absolute sloppiest eater and slow. Unbelievable. Never had a dog like that in my life. Um, a couple things, guys, uh, that I want to uh, bring up before I start my day here. I don't know how much video I'm going to do today because uh, I've got Simon coming back uh, for my uh, my Kijiji ad help uh, to help me finish all the cutting on the property. I got to get it done because it just it makes a huge difference. The ducks are uh, seriously enjoying uh, the uh, the newfound freedom of uh, not having a whole bunch of places for predators to hide. So I don't know what's going to happen here today because uh, I want to really focus on it and get it done. So, But uh, I've got a couple pieces of business that uh, I've got to uh, bring to your attention. The the YouTube user, uh, uh, Starry Hilder, she's in a really bad accident, guys. Uh, they posted some pictures of her on our GoFundMe page. She got seriously screwed up. Uh, and, and, you know, with the U.S. healthcare system, I don't know what her situation is. But being, you know, an independent person and, and you know, on a homesteader, I can't see her having, uh, you know, some fantastic health insurance. Her, 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 her fundraisers for $10,000. I got a gut feeling, guys, that's probably her deductible on her health insurance based on what I know about the U.S. health care system. I don't know everything, but just based on what I know. So I'm thinking that they need this $10,000 uh, just to pay her deductible for her accident, which I'm going to put the link below. Go there, you know, anything, you know, a couple bucks, two bucks, one buck, five bucks, a hundred bucks. You know, uh, the ducks put something in the kitty for her. Uh, you know, help her out, man. Because that, that, the pictures that they posted, I looked at them and it's like, whoa, man. I, I, uh, I, I can't even imagine the pain that she's going through uh, being that seriously banged up. So uh, I just want to stress that with you. All right, I bring that to your attention. I want to stress too, you know, go to the link below, guys, and do what you can to help her out. You know, because, you know, when you're on YouTube, you're independent. you you got no one backing you except your fans. So, and there's another thing I want to bring up uh, that uh, Tom, uh, Tom's been leaving comments uh, in, the, in the videos. He needs uh, some feedback. He's doing some fan art. Uh, I don't know exactly what he's trying to do. He sent me some pictures. Um, but what he's trying to do, from what I got from his emails, is he wants to do some characters from the Duck Adventure and uh, some personal uh, comments and messages uh, from, from loyal fans. So I'm going to put his email address below this video. Click on it, uh, com communicate with Tom, uh, you know, I, I, and find out exactly what he wants to do uh, and if you want to be part of it. Uh, you know, he sent me a picture of some things that he's drawn. He seems like a, a real artist uh, that way. So, you know, uh, if you want to jump in and, and be part of what Tom's creating uh, in, in show of uh, support of the show, uh, you know, uh, his email address is right below the video. So um, I'm going to start my day here. Um, I, I woke up a little bit late, so I'm doing my edit. I got to hurry up. Simon's going to be here in half an hour, so I've got to get my act into gear so that today I can finish the, the big cut here and we can get back to normal and uh, the ducks can uh, you know, really have full reign of the property while Doug is uh, out of commission. And Oh, another thing about Doug. I got some private messages, and, and I see in the comments, guys, getting a second dog because Doug's gimp. We've been down this road be before. A second dog ain't gonna happen here, okay, you guys? It's just not. And Doug is not gimped to the point that he is uh, useless anymore. He's dealing with an injury that he that he got when he was a pup before I adopted him. And and you know and, and this happens. You know when Doug hurts himself, he gets better and he's 100%. Like Doug right now, guys, is at the peak of his life. Like he is prime dog, man. He's gonna be four years old this uh, October. Um, he's he's getting better at his job. He's actually phenomenal at his job. And considering this, you know, he's covering an area of about 15 acres with a thousand coyote bait running around, okay? And the dog so far, you know, based on what we found so far in the swamp, one kill site, that's it. 
this year. One single kill site is all we found so far. The dog is doing a phenomenal job. Like he is, and he's good at his job. And uh, it's just that he's got a little bit of an injury and it gets better, you know, with treatments, the laser and the anti-inflammatories and a little bit of rest, Doug will be back to normal. And, uh, you know, it, 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 and it, you know, it's like getting another dog just because Doug's got a, a slight injury. It's not like he's gimped, you know, as in like he's getting old and he can't do his job. Like the dog's got a couple good years left of him as far as, you know, being a solo working dog. And considering what he does here, it's amazing what the dog does. Like, just look at that guy. How can you think that that dog needs to be replaced? Or even a backup? He's a solo champion. <laughs> but he's, he's not the best dish licker though. All right, that's enough about uh, the dog situation. Second dog ain't gonna happen here, guys. I, I don't need the workload and I don't need to be uh, ignored and I don't need Doug to get all screwed up because I've seen what dogs do around Doug. Uh, he doesn't focus on his job anymore. He gets, uh, he wants to play uh, because he's still a pup. You know, he's only like well, three months, three years, 10 months old. Like he's still got that puppiness in him. So, uh, you know, introducing a dog to him, all, all that would happen would distract him from his job and he would play non-stop and and actually playing is the worst thing for his shoulder because he would end up hurting himself more often uh than just you know right now the only time he hurts himself is when he's on a coyote attack i gotta go back to work get ready for simon and uh finish the cutting today but uh, once again the starry held her link for her gofundme i'll put her youtube page below too uh check her out help the woman out man she like i said i i got a hunch the ten thousand dollars they need is for the deductible on their health insurance. I, I something's telling me that, uh, and the you know, and the links on her, all oh, the pictures are bad, man. They're bad. She got banged up hard, big time. Anyways, so uh, that's it. I gotta go to work and uh, get my uh, acting together, act into gear today, and uh, get this happening here. No, Doug, you're not coming out. I'm sorry. Poor dog. He thinks he's in trouble. You know but a couple more days of rest, I think. All right, let's let the, uh, the ducks out to the swamp. I've got Simon already cutting. I'm, uh, he's been cutting for about 15 minutes here without me, but uh, we're gonna get the rest of it cut today. I'm all caught up. Got my edit done for tonight. Oh, the three ducks, I saw them walking around the pen that uh, decided to uh, go underneath the shed last night. Oh, I can leave that gate open. I don't need to worry about that. All right, let's let these guys out to the swamp. Now, where are those three ducks? It's a perfect day to cut, too. It's a little cooler than yesterday. So where are they? I saw them uh, walking around the pen. Oh, there they are. They're on the other side. Oh, is it ever loud, guys? I can barely hear myself talk. figured out there's one of them that stayed out last night underneath the shed and there's the other two okay what's going on ducks go on it looks like everybody's leaving the pen except for a couple of Muscovies 
our new Muscovies it uh, looks like they're gonna stay in the pen. Yeah, they are. Oh, they might go. No, they're going for the water cooler. Look at that. They're not ready yet. They're still in a little bit of shock to what Duck Paradise is here. Actually, there's no ducks left in the pen except the two, yeah, two Muscovy drinks. It looks like Mo and one of the other ones. And this small group right here. And this little one, she's leaving. Are you leaving? Oh, it looks like maybe they're going to go. Look at this man, they're like seriously embracing this. Now that it's all cut, and I got a cut today, we're gonna, uh, what we're gonna do is uh, Simon and I, we're gonna cut a path that's right tight to the mud, right, actually right about there is where it's gonna start, and we're gonna go straight to the creek so that the ducks don't veer to the right because I want them to uh, end up more at the mouth of the creek when they go out there. But like all of that today is gonna get chopped down right to the mud. And it looks like the only duck that's left in the pen is Mo. It's looking like Mo. That's it. Our new Muscovies aren't heading to the water. They're gonna stay here with the other Muscovies. but the rest are down at the lake. Look at that, eh? Once you cut it open for them, they uh, they seriously embrace it. Right on. Okay, the final Muscovy's coming. A little bit slow. I gotta go, uh, go get the my weed whacker and start cutting, guys. Because uh, as you can see, when you cut, the ducks get much more relaxed. They know where predators can hide. There's gonna be no more hiding spots. I'm just gonna do a quick walk around here, make sure everybody's all right. How are our hospital ducks today? Oh, eye infection duck, guys? Eyes are totally cleared up. Okay, can we get a good view here? Look at that. Oh, turn your head for us, come on. Her head's starting to get fluffy around her eyes. Look at that. Cleared right up, guys. No more uh, liquid coming out of her eyes. Magoo is developing angel wing. Poor little duck. But you got to stay in here. Unfortunately, uh, the problem with uh, the angel wing is caused by the protein, too much protein in the feed. Because we've got the one starter in here. And I don't see Billy anywhere. Oh, there's Bill. Bill's starting to look like a duck. Little te tail feathers. Just a little feather sticking out there. Alright, Billy. I wonder when Bill's gonna go in the water. Still haven't seen a duck. Actually, this water here, guys, I don't know what's going on. The ducks won't even go in there. This little duck, I don't know about uh, it. It's having a hard time walking. I gotta go and start doing some work. I'm just uh, gonna double check the uh, building here. Oh man, oh man. These ducks and these, uh, these nests. Look at her now, she's in the back corner. Oh, I don't get this. She's all over the place. She's rolling her eggs everywhere. This little Muscovy is still doing the egg thing. Okay, now you're sitting on the goose egg. This Muscovy. Oh, man. You know, if we have anything hatch, I'm going to have to fire up the heat lamps because uh, we're, we're coming close to winter here. We're going to have little ducklings in the start of winter. Oh well, we'll just run the power. Okay. 
Gotta get everything open here. Oh man, it's gonna be so nice when everything's cut. It's gonna take a lot of pressure off. A ton of pressure off, actually. It's already taken a lot of pressure off just having the swamp cut. And the fact that the ducks can go down there and play in the water. Just look at that. They're having a blast. the duckies. I gotta go to work guys. I'll uh, give you uh, the update at the end of the day. I'm not planning on doing any video today because I'm just gonna uh, focus totally on uh, being basically welded to the end of the weed whacker cutting. Well the ducks uh, are really enjoying this guys. They've been down here all day. It's about five o'clock right now. Simon left. I've got to uh, do a little bit of work on my weed whacker. It uh, needs a little bit of love. It's not running very good. My back's not running very good either, actually. I'm in a little bit of pain here today. We've got one more day of cutting. But we uh, got a lot done. Not as much as I'd like, but it's a big job. But she's wide open now. And the ducks are loving it. It's looking good. Nothing can sneak up on them. Oh, I'm down here talking, so now they're going to come back to the yard. Look at this. You know, every time I do this, I come down here, it's almost like they think I'm calling them home. Simon actually felt bad. He, he, he uh, thought that we should have had it done today. And I told him, well, you know, it took me 57 hours to uh, cut it the last time. So you can't uh, very well expect it to be done in 20 hours this time. In 25 hours, whatever. I know one thing, I'm feeling it today. But I got to uh, give my weed whacker a little bit of love. It's uh, not running right at all. It won't stay running. I think I got to adjust the carb, change the plug on it. And I think I'm going to uh, throw my lawnmower on and get my lawn a cut. I tripped twice today walking to the garage. The grass is uh, thick enough and tall enough right now that I can't walk across my lawn without tripping. So, and Doug's in the house, absolutely depressed. I went in there to put my uh, work boots on to get my uh, rubber boots off and he uh, was like all excited thinking he was coming out and he's not. But. Look at this behind me, guys. I've got a duck train coming home. Little silly ducks. And the thing is, they don't have to come home yet. Ooh, oh man, man, I'm tired. This is a hard job, guys. It's not, uh, it's not easy. And we have to cut this too. Like it's this right here. It doesn't look bad, guys, but this is tall enough that a fox could sneak in here. And that right there, easily two hours worth of cutting. It's nasty cutting here. So many rocks. You know, you, you gotta, it's like you're, you're cutting and you gotta, you know, take the, the weed whacker and go between the rocks. Oh, it's, it's, not, it's not fast going. The best thing to cut, honestly, which I should have left for last, is the bulrushes. They're the, the, they're the most fun to cut because uh, literally you can cut like an eight inch swath every time you swing the weed whacker and you actually get to see something happen because, you know, they're so big and they fall and it's done and... You know, all this other stuff, the, the little stuff, it, because there's rocks in the way and you gotta, you know, you can't just, you know, blindly swing back and forth. Anyways, I'm gonna go give my weed whacker some love and I'm gonna fire up my lawn tractor and give uh, my yard a cut. My day is far from done. You know, Doug was at the door and I thought, okay, I'm gonna be in the garage, I'll let him out, you know, so that he can have a little bit of outside time because the dog was cracking. And you know, I got a soft spot for letting a dog, you know, be a dog. But look at this. I'm talking 
Yeah, 90 seconds. That's how long it took him to do this. Instantly, the very first play, like he didn't need actually 30 seconds, guys. Like right away, instantly down, walk in the, uh, the creek. See, he's seen coyotes there, right? So now he's like totally obsessed. Absolutely obsessed, actually. Smelling everywhere. Well, he's got the ducks, they're all coming home now. Because of Doug, we've got an exodus of Doug's, Doug's duck, exodus of ducks coming home now. You know, they had started dribbling home because I went down there. They'll go back out, it's only five o'clock. He's got to smell everything. They might not go back out because uh, this is all fresh cut. So they, uh, the frogs, there's a ton of frogs. I can't believe the amount of frogs. For the amount of ducks hunting frogs, guys, it makes no sense, the amount of frogs that I'm seeing. It's a very good year for frogs. But Doug has no intentions of coming home. They're swarming me. Hello, ducks. <laughs> well, I'll let Doug have a little bit of time outside. If he comes back limping, I'll uh, then I'll put him back in the house, and I'll be in trouble by you. <laughs> I'm gonna. Uh, oh, our, our Muscovies. They came right back into the pen today. They spent the whole day in the pen. They're not too sure yet about their new surroundings. I'm gonna go and uh, do some work in the garage, get my uh, weed whacker running a little better, and uh, put the mower deck on my lawnmower, and do the job the ducks are supposed to be doing. I tripped too many times today. Uh, the grass is so thick. It's, it's dangerous to walk across if you're not paying attention. Haven't uh, started cutting my lawn yet. Had to get the garden hose. Uh, anyways, I had to do a bunch of things to get ready to cut the lawn. Doug, get back here. Um, the ducks went back down to the lake. They were in the yard for ah, 15, 20 minutes. Now there's a group that actually swam down the lake. It's so awesome to see them back down there. They keep leaving in groups this size. I guess they realize nothing good's happening here and well, let's go back. It's because of the swamp's cut, that's why. It's wide open, they feel safe, like, you know, they're just like they can see and in all directions, like 300 feet, so nothing's gonna sneak up on them. I should've got the bull rushes cut two weeks ago, but hey, it's the, the four crews on Kijiji that didn't show up. All right, I'm gonna cut my long guy, so uh, this might be the end of the video for today because I've got probably about two and a half hours worth of sitting on the lawnmower brain dead, uh, cutting my lawn because the ducks are not doing it. It doesn't look long, but it's so thick that I got a hunch it's going to be a first gear cut. Well, put it this way. The ducks haven't been in the yard so long that there's no duck feces on the grass. Like the grass is actually clean. You could roll around, it's so clean. Like take a look, all there is is some feathers. There's like no feces anywhere. That's how long the ducks haven't been on the lawn. So it's going to be a brutal cut. And I hate cutting the lawn with a passion. Oh man, this is one job that I'm really upset that the ducks are dropping the ball, but I'm happy that they're at the lake. Another group, well, they got part way down the lake, they turned around and they're swimming around right now.
they're uh, enjoying the lake action. They've got basically eight weeks of fun ahead of them. Yeah, it's about eight weeks, and then we gotta say goodbye to them. So let them have some fun. I love this time of year when they're at that stage, you know, they're old enough that they wanna be down there. Water's cooling down, the snapping turtles aren't happening. I've just gotta keep an eye out for the otters. And this cutting, I think the coyote situation is gonna be really easy to take care of. Doug, uh, he's got his limp back. So you can leave your comments below on how bad of a dog owner I am. But I had to let him out today, guys. He was just in the house looking so sad. I'm, I'm sorry. Still haven't uh, started cutting my lawn. Well, I got it started and I started driving across the uh, driveway and I saw the ducks freaking out. So I stopped what I was doing, ran down here with the shotgun. I didn't grab any cameras because I saw something in the water. Doug, get back here. Come here. All the ducks had gone into this like tight group and actually it was tighter than that when I was out there. And it was like, it looked like an otter was swimming at the mouth of the creek, getting closer and closer to them. And they were like just freaking right out. So I didn't really think about the camera. I just grabbed the shotgun and ran out there really quick. Turns out it was a, the baby loon was fishing at the mouth of the creek. All I want to do is get my lawn cut. And I haven't, it's like, I'm not kidding you guys. An, over an hour has elapsed since I probably started saying this on the vlog that I was going to cut my lawn. Hour and 10 minutes. Crazy. So I'm hoping I can go cut my lawn now and the baby loon won't kill any ducks at the lake. Well, I got this far. And uh, I guess I didn't lock the mower deck on properly after 21 years of doing this. And it just fell off. So it's already a difficult job to do it on a flat surface with one person. Uh, it should be a little more of a challenge on a slope on the grass. I'm all greasy now. It was a trick on the hill. I've almost finished cutting the lawn. I was playing chicken with the ducks for a while. They were coming uh, right up to the uh, lawnmower trying to get the grass clippings. <laughs> Dougie. But if you notice, he's all dry because uh, with the swamp cut, he doesn't run. He, he's just walking around the property and watching the swamp. Or he's sitting watching the swamp, but he hasn't ran down once, except for that one time he went down to the creek today. The fact that he can see everything, uh, he, he just never stops looking, though. Like, that's all he does right there. He just stands and watches over the swamp. But he hasn't run down. So the cutting of the swamp has actually helped Doug. Just look at him. He's so serious about his job. He's just part-time right now. It's so awesome. Like, he's so serious right now, guys. Like, he's, uh... <laughs> oh, Doug. You're such a hard worker. <laughs> oh, Dougie. You're so good at your job. Only one kill that we found. Or not, that's it. Yeah, one. They f one single kill. No other kill sites found. <laughs> You're doing a really good job. All right, well, I gotta go back to uh, cutting the lawn because I'm not done yet. Lawn's cut. Doug's washing the ducks. Man, it's so much nicer. Uh, I forgot what it was like. Well, I think it was what, the beginning of June and I cut it the last time. Everything's wide open. Ducks are all over the place. Everything's calm. He's watching, doing his job. Look at his head going back and forth. But because he can see, hasn't moved. Hasn't gone for one rip down to the swamp. He's been really good.
but now it's time to feed the ducks. It seems that now that they're running around more out in the open, uh, it's only four bags instead of five. I'm back on the tractor, guys. I uh, forgot to spot the whole front section in front of the barn door. It was so thick. I had to go over it twice. Some spots three times. Well, all the ducks are pretty well in the surrounding area. There's Doug watching. Hasn't done any running. He's just watching. And wherever the ducks go, he goes to their location and sits down like this because the ducks were just on the other side of the yard and he was over there watching them. What ducks? What? <laughs> oh, they're so cute. What a difference in the flock, though. They're so calm. And it's so nice to see everything wide open again. Everybody can relax. Even Doug. And he gets to be outside, too. Get my nightly workout. Lights just came on and the pen's getting busier and busier. They're slowly moving in on their own. I wonder if we'll have any rebels tonight. They're all getting uh, closer and closer, moving in. They seem to really like the big pen. Pen's getting really busy. They're all coming in. It's filling up. A lot of ducks. I better close the gates before the rebel ducks head to the lake. It's so much easier putting them in the pen. <laughs> they, they all go in the pen for you. Oh, I got some stragglers on the other side. Doug, back here. Doug, come on. I know you're happy you're outside. Doug, no. Don't even think of it. Oh, little ducks. Come on, wrong direction. No, going into the corner isn't going to accomplish anything. No, don't go back. Back, Doug, back. Back, Doug, back. Back, Doug. <laughs> okay, Doug's right there. Poor little ducks. Come on, ducks. Wrong direction. Come on. It's ridiculously easy to put the ducks in. Oh man, they do it themselves. But then again, it's not raining. If it was raining, uh, it'd be hard to get them into the uh, pan.
Well, that was uh, pretty uneventful, guys. Oh, it's 8.30, guys. I haven't even thought of putting myself in the oven. Oh, no. I wonder if I got any leftovers. Another Muscovy, guys. Oh, these things. How many more out there are hiding? Hey, duck. I was just walking back from the garage. You're lucky I saw you. And don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends and enjoy the show.